Good morning, good morning, and happy new year to all of God's people. It's truly a blessed day to just reflect on the goodness of God, how he brought us through last year in spite of the different challenges that we encountered and many deaf people lost their lives, but yet God proved himself to be strong in our behalf. And today I just want to give you an encouraging word this morning to let you know that God is still on your side as the reigning king. It doesn't matter what you go through in this life. He's still there working things out in your favor. And all you have to do is keep trusting and depending on this word. For truly, this is the day the Lord has made. We can rejoice and be glad in it. You know, one thing I was thinking about this morning, <clears throat> a new year, a new you, a new year, a new you. So as we engaged in a new year, the third day of the year, we, we need to make a declaration that this is going to be a new me in this year. I'm not going to have the same mindset. I'm not going to allow the enemy to entrap me with the same old devices and tactics that he used before to imprison me spiritually. But I'm going to walk in the freedom that God has for me in this new year. Because God is faithful. He promises to be right there on your side to give you the power to keep standing on his word. Doesn't matter what you go through in this life. We're going to have some trials, some tests, some tribulations. But know this, that God has won the battle. He has won the battle. And the victory belongs to you. And all you got to do is keep walking in the promises of his word with confidence and boldness, knowing that God is on your side as the reigning king. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God is faithful. He promises to keep us secure in his presence, keep us from falling, to keep us standing on his word, and allow us to overcome every obstacle, trial, and test that comes our way with boldness because great is he that's in us than he that's in the world amen in isaiah chapter 49 isaiah chapter 49 beginning in verse 8 it says thus says the lord in the acceptable time i heard thee and in the day of salvation i helped thee and i will preserve thee and give thee for a covenant to the people to establish the earth and to cause to inherit the desolate heritages. Hallelujah. That's a great word to encourage us today, that God is faithful. He's on our side. He loves us so much. It doesn't matter what comes our way. All we got to do is keep on standing on the promises of God's word. God says in the separate time, the time that we cried out to him, he heard us. In the New Living Translation, said, this is what the Lord says. At just the right time, I will respond to you. And on the day of salvation, I will help you. And I will protect you and give you to the people as my covenant with them. Through you, I will reestablish the land of Israel and assign it to his own people again. What the enemy has taken from you, God promises us a restoration in this new year, in this new season. And all we have to do is believe it, receive it, walk in, and stand on God's word and the promises and know that God will do what he promised to do in your life. Hallelujah. So I just want to encourage you today, stay in the word. Let this year be a year of consecration. Let this be a time where you begin to meditate on the word of the Lord and allow the word of God to be embedded in your heart in this year. Spend time with God. Spend more time with God than you did on last year. Allow the spirit of the living God to draw you to a place a prayer, to draw you to a place where you labor before God by the spirit <clears throat> of the living God. Allow his presence to empower you, to strengthen you, to encourage you, to help you keep standing. We're going to face some storms of life, but know this, that Jesus is in the boat with you in your storm. He's right there to carry you in your storm. He's there to speak and declare the word of peace in the atmosphere in your storm. And God will bring you through victoriously. And all you got to do is keep on trusting in his ability. Keep standing on his word and know that greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. 
The devil is a lie. The devil cannot stop what God is doing in your life nor through your life because God has a plan. God has a purpose. He said, on the day of salvation, I will help you. And if God promises to help us, guess what? It's a guarantee that God will deliver you in the midst of troubles. God will help you in the midst of infirmities. God will empower you to keep moving forward in your promise. God has a purpose. He has a destiny for you that only you can fulfill. No one else can do it for you, but you can accomplish it. The plan, the purpose that God has in his will for your life, only you can do this thing that God says you can do when you trust in his word because greater is he as I mentioned before, is in you than he that's in the world. So I just want to uh, open us up in a little prayer this morning to encourage you today to stay motivated. It's a confession of prayer, confession of prayer. And in this confession of prayer, confession of prayer, it begins, says, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against me in judgment, I condemn. So, Lord God, today we thank you for your covering. We thank you for your presence surrounding us. We thank you for the favor, God, upon our lives. We thank you, O oh God, that when the enemy comes in like a flood against us, God, we are victorious because you said the weapons are going to form, but they're not going to prosper. And that's a guarantee we have with you, Lord God, today. We thank you that you lead us in victory. You called us to triumph, O oh God, over the power, over all the powers of the enemy, the devil is a liar God he cannot stop you from moving in our lives but that what you promised to do God we will walk in it God in obedience to your word because you're on our side as the reigning king and I thank you Lord God today that we are established in righteousness we are established we've been established before the foundation of the world in righteousness and oppression is far from us today oh god we thank you lord god that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through god to pulling down the strongholds oh god we break the back of the enemy today oh god we tear down the strongholds in our minds and our hearts oh god the things that held us in captivity in last year god this year we make a day a bold declaration god we will walk in the freedom of the word of God. We will walk in the power of the Holy Spirit. We will not be bound, hallelujah. We will not be hindered by any demonic force, oh God, in this new season. <clears throat> in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, that you gave us armor to put on every day, God. And we take, Father God, the shield of faith today, O God, to quench every fiery dart of the enemy. We take the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, to use against our enemies today, O God. We are redeemed from the curse of the law. We are redeemed from poverty. We are redeemed from sickness. We are redeemed from spiritual death. We overcome because great is he that's in us and he that's in the world. We stand in the evil day, having our loins girded about with truth. And have the breastplate of righteousness. Our feet are shot with the gospel of peace. We take the shield of faith. And we're covered with the helmet of salvation. And we use the word, the sword of the spirit. Which is the word of God. To smite the enemy in his tracks. Oh God. We're standing firm in faith. Believing God. That the word. The word has power. The word has authority. The word takes precedence in our lives God. And we decree the word in the atmosphere around us God. That we. We will not be hindered or checked by any demonic force. We are covered in the presence of God as we leave our homes and go our different destinations, God. We believe that the angels of the Lord go before us, God, to protect and shield and cover us, oh God. Cover our minds, cover our hearts from every attack the enemy trying to bring against us, God. We thank you, Lord God, that we're able to stand firm in the faith of Jesus Christ, oh God, and not be held back anymore, God. But we're storming the gates of hell this morning, God, by faith in the promises of your word and we know that this is the confidence God we ask of you anything in your name that you would do God it's a guarantee God and I thank you Father today oh God that we have been delivered hallelujah from the power of darkness translated to the kingdom of your dear son Father we tread on serpents and scorpions over all the power of the enemy and nothing <clears throat> we don't give the enemy any ground to hurt us God 
nothing shall by any means hurt us. That's a promise we have to you, Lord God, that when we give you precedence in our lives, God, put you in the top of the list of our priority of things to do for our day, God. You promised us, God, that we'll tread on serpents and scorpions, every demonic force that will rise against us, God. We can stand against it in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, that we do not have the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. And we thank you, Father, today that the word of God gives us the right. It gives us the privilege, God, that we can have the, the word of God as our defense. And I thank you, Lord God, today. That our hand is on the neck of our enemies of God. You anoint our head with oil. Our cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, O oh God. And Father, we are anointed, hallelujah, to preach. We're anointed to teach. We're anointed to heal. We're anointed to cast out devils. And Satan, the Lord, rebuke you this morning. You take your hands off the people of God. Father, those who have been violated with COVID disease, O oh God. Father, o Omicron disease, God. Cancer, diabetes, heart condition. Conditions, God, Satan, take your hand off of God's people, loose your hold and set them free in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare by the stripes of Jesus Christ, they are healed and delivered and set free, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you that we receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. Father, what a joy and a privilege it is to know that we have an abundance of grace, oh God, that your grace is sufficient. Your grace is more than enough, God. And you gave us the gift of righteousness that we can rest in the finished work of the cross, knowing with confidence, God, that we can stand in your righteousness, oh God. When our righteousness is as filthy rags, oh God, we can stand in the holiness and the righteousness of God because you're on our side, oh God. And we thank you, Lord God, that in this life we shall reign as Christ Jesus lives and abide in our hearts, oh God. We reign in this life, oh God. We take authority over the atmosphere around us, God, in our homes. We seal it with the presence of God on today that your power will begin to manifest in our homes that even our children will sense the presence of God and be obedient to the word of God, obedient to their parents, God. That we as your children will sense the presence of God and be obedient to our heavenly parent, God, which is God our Father. We ask today, God, release a fresh anointing, God, from the Holy Spirit in our hearts. Give us the power to stand, oh God, to keep trusting in your word and your ability, God, to do exploits in this life, oh God, to manifest your glory, God, that people will see you at work in our lives, to will and do according to your good pleasure, God. Father, I thank you today, oh God, hallelujah to the Lamb of God, that I'm the head and not the tail. God, I thank you today, God that I decree a thing and it shall be established in my life, oh God. I decree the word of God in those who hear this prayer today, oh God, that your righteousness will be established in their hearts, oh God, that they will be blessed and highly favored all the days of their lives. Everything they need, to need you to do, God, that you would do according to your promise of your word in the mighty name of Jesus, the wealth and riches are in our house today, oh God. I thank you, Father, today that our righteousness shall endure forever because the covenant we have with you, God, is irrevocable, God. You would not change your mind about your covenant, God, but what you speak, God, that you would do in our lives because we're trusting you, God. Give us a heart, Father, to trust you. Give us the ability, God, to walk in the word. Give us the power to stand on the word as our foundation, God. Doesn't matter what comes our way. The devil is a liar. He's not going to break our foundation. This new season, this new year, we shall engage the territory of the enemy and take back what belongs to us, God. We're taking back our wealth and our riches. We're taking back our health and our families. We're taking back our children, God, in this season. And we thank you, Lord God, that your word promises, God, we will be satisfied with long life. 
and God will show us his salvation. Do it for your glory, God. We rebuke the spirit of death, oh God. This premature death that many have lost their lives, oh God, because of different incidents and situations, God. We rebuke the spirit of death today, oh God, and we decree life in abundance in our hearts today. We decree the blessing and favor of God on our lives today, God, that we shall live and not die, but declare the works of the Lord. We thank you, Father, today that we would dwell in the secret place of the Most High and abide under the shadow of the Almighty, and that no evil, God, no evil will befall us, God, and no plague will come near our dwelling. Because you say your children, God, are taught of the Lord, and their great, great is their peace today, God. We thank you, God, today that we've been taught the word of God. And because we've been taught the word of God, help us to live by the word of God. That the word will manifest in our hearts today, O oh God. And that we'll be strengthened with the might by the Holy Spirit in our inner man. Father, those who are spiritually weak today, God, we decree and declare they're being strengthened in their inner man. They're being empowered by the Holy Spirit. They're standing, God. They're starting to rise up Oh, God, from out of their slump and out of the pit of despair, they're rising up in the power of the anointing. They're rising up in the word of God. They're rising up in their mentality, God. They're accelerating into the things of God. They're advancing in the kingdom of God. And that your grace and favor is upon their lives, oh, God. Father, we thank you today that we're rooted and grounded in love. Help us to love one another, God, like never before. Help us to be an extension of Jesus Christ's love to everyone we come in contact with, God. If we have any form of unforgiveness in our heart in this new season, God, purge it out. Break the shackles of unforgiveness. Break the chains and the bondages of unforgiveness, God, that we'll no longer be held back from receiving the blessings and the favor of God because of unforgiveness. But you said, how can we love God and hate our brothers who we see daily? Give us your heart today, O oh God. Give us your compassion. Give us your meekness. Give us your gentleness. Help us to love unconditionally, God. That everyone we come in contact with, God, we will continue to display the love of God. Because of the way you loved us, God. For anyone that's born of God knows God, for God is love. And we know today, God that your love abides in our hearts. Manifest yourself today, God, like never before in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, we bless our natural enemies and we overcome evil with good. I thank you, Father, today that the devil is defeated, God is exalted, and Jesus Christ is Lord, and we bless our enemies, God. You said pray for those who despise and misuse you and say, all men are evil against you falsely for my name's sake, for so persecute the prophets who went before you, God. Give us your heart today, God, to bless our enemies, God. Those who just keep on pricking at us, keep tugging at us, God, keep on hurting us, God, keep scarring us, God. Help us to bless them, God, that you would deal with our enemies, God, according to your word. And we thank you, Lord God, that you're faithful to do what you promised, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. As we plug into the power source of your word today, God, open our eyes to see, oh God, what you see. Lord, bless me and keep me. Make your face shine upon me. Be gracious to me, Lord, and lift me up among your countenance upon me and give me peace, oh God. I decree this word over the people of God today, Father God, that you would bless them, that you would keep them, God. Let your face shine upon them. Be gracious unto them, O oh God. Lift them up upon your countenance, God, and give them peace, O oh God, in every situation. Help them to stand firm in the promise of your word, God. Father, make us as Ephraim and Manasseh, God. Help us, Father, continue to walk by faith in your word, God. No matter what comes our way, God, give us the ability to keep standing. Let us be satisfied with your favor and filled with your blessings, God. Let us not find satisfaction in the pleasing of the flesh, God, or the attributes of the flesh, or the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life. But help us to find our true satisfaction, God, resting in your presence, God, loving on Jesus, God, that you will be glorified. And we thank you, Lord God, 
that you will command the blessing upon our lives. When our hearts are pleasing to you, God, you promise to command blessings to fall upon our lives, oh God. We decree and declare that our cups shall overflow, Father God, that surely goodness and mercy will follow all the days of our lives because, Father, we dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And because of this, God, it's a covenant, God, that the cup will overflow, Father God. Our cup, Father, will be filled with more than enough blessings, God, that we got to bless somebody else, oh God. I thank you, Lord God, today. Give us revelation and let us be blessed, oh God. Father, we are the blessed seeds of Abraham through Jesus Christ, and we receive the blessing of Abraham. Lord, in blessing, Father, bless us. In multiplying, multiply us as the stars of the heaven and as the sand of the seashore, God. Bless us, God, according to your word, with the overflow, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. That you would let the showers of blessings, God, let the showers of blessings fall upon our lives today, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Turn every curse sent thy way into a blessing. People speaking curses, people praying witchcraft over us, God. Father, cause it to be a blessing in our lives, oh God. What the enemy mean for our harm, that you turn around for our good today, oh God. Because we're trusting in your word. Let all the nations call us blessed, oh God. That when people see us, they will see the blessing of God over our lives, oh God. Because we're blessed, oh God. Then all the generations connected to us, God, be blessed. We break the spirit of curses, God, on the bloodline. Over generational curses, God, we thank you, Lord God, that the favor of God is upon our lives, that we're blessed coming in, we're blessed going out. Everything we touch will be blessed, oh God, from this day forward, that even our children and our children's children will have blessings on their bloodline from this day forward, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I thank you that we're children of the blessed, oh God. We live in the kingdom of the blessed, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, that our sins are forgiven and we are blessed, oh God. We thank you, Father God, that you daily load us with benefits because we're blessed, oh God. I thank you, Father, today that we are chosen by God to be blessed, oh God. I thank you, Lord, today that you're on our side, oh God, and our seed is blessed, oh God. We inherit the land of blessings, God. We're part of a holy nation, and we're called blessed, oh God. Lord, bless our latter more than our beginning, God. Let the, your presence bless our lives, oh God. And I thank you, Lord, today, as we walk in the word of God, that no matter what we do, God, we will remind ourselves and let others see that we are blessed and favored of God. We drink the cup of blessings today, oh God. Lord, bless us and cause your face to shine upon us. That your way may be known unto, upon the earth and your saving health among the nations. Let my land yield its increase. And let the end of the earth fear you, God. Father, we thank you that everything we have... Our land, our dwelling place, oh God, shall in, shall yield increase, oh God, shall bring forth a harvest, oh God, in this season. I thank you, Lord God. I know you favor me because my enemies do not triumph over me. I know with a promise, God, with a guarantee that you favor us, oh God, because you do not let our enemies triumph over us, God. I thank you, Lord God. That our land is favorable. Lord, grant us life and favor on today. In your favor, God, make our mountains stand strong. Lord, we entreat your favor today, oh God. Let your favor cause our horns to be exalted, God. Our strength. Cause our strength to be exalted today, oh God. In your presence, God. That no matter what comes our way, just like David when he faced Goliath, God. He stood in the strength of the Lord with boldness and confidence that Goliath was he going to cut his head off, God. He was going to smite the enemy with a stone, oh God. And today, God, we smite our enemies with the word of God, the stone of the word, God. And we stand with boldness, God. That our enemy will not triumph over us. Then I thank you, Lord God. That you remember, God, that this is our set time for favor. Remember, O oh Lord, with your favor you bring unto your children and visit us with your salvation. Lord, I entreat your favor 
with my whole heart today, O oh God. Let your favor be upon our lives as the cloud of the latter rain. Let your favor be upon our lives like the cloud of the latter rain, O oh God. I thank you, Lord God, that you let your beauty and let us dwell in your presence with your favor, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I thank you, Lord God, that we are highly favored of God on today. Let us receive extraordinary favor. And I thank you, Lord God, that you will seal this prayer with the promise of the Holy Spirit to manifest in the, in the hearts of those who hear this prayer today, God. They will encourage them. That will stir them up to get in their word. That will motivate them to keep standing on your word with confidence and boldness that the Lord is on their side and that the Lord is at hand. And that you would do what you promised to do in their lives, oh God, and cause them to walk in the blessings and the favor of the Lord throughout this year and every day of their lives. And I thank you for it, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you today. You walk in your victory. You stand on the word of truth because the Lord is on your side. And God promises that when you seek him first and his kingdom and his righteousness, he's of all these things, everything I just prayed for shall manifest for you in your life in this new season. This new year, let there be a new you. Let your attitude change. Let your heart change. Let your confession change. Don't allow your confession to be a confession of doubt, but let it be a confession of faith throughout this year. Even though you may be tested, you may be tried, you may be tempted, don't give in to the voice of the enemy because the Lord is at hand and the Lord is on your side and he will smite the enemy in his tracks before you because he is your Lord and your Savior and he guarantees that you shall have victory all the days of your life. Until next time, stay encouraged, stay excited about Jesus and know that the Lord is doing a new thing in this new season for you. Walk in it, stand in it, and continue to allow the spirit of living God to move in your heart, in your life. And I guarantee you will find yourself gravitating to the promises, the blessings, the favor, the health, the strength, the mindset of the Holy Spirit. Everything that God has for you will become like a magnet. When you walk in obedience to God's word, the magnet of the Holy Spirit is going to attract the things, the law of attraction going to manifest the promises God has for you in your life in this new season. So you stay encouraged and next on, on tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock p.m. we'll begin our Bible class for the new year and we're going to continue to discuss the battlefield of the mind until I'm completed with the book. Got four chapters left in this book and I pray that the Lord continues to change and recondition, restructure your life to be conformable to his image and his likeness. No matter what you go through in this life, nothing will be able to move you from your position, even change your character or your integrity from God's lifestyle to the life of the world. But you keep standing on the word of truth because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. God bless you, Vernon Dean. God bless you, Arnetta. May the Lord continue to bless and cause his face to shine upon you. And the Lord be gracious to you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and he give you peace. Until next time, shalom. That means peace, blessings, favor, everything God has for you be released into your life because of the peace of God. God bless you. Amen.